Alright, hello and welcome back to this war with France. The big blue blob. And, uh... Well, they've, they've got a decent little concentration of forces down here. I gotta keep my eye on. But... Oh, my treasurer appears to have died. Most unfortunate. That means I have an open council position. Let's see. And I definitely want uh, those admin points coming on in. So, there we go. Let's see. France is taking a good bit of attrition, at least. Let's let's take a look in terms of military. I know they've still got a lot of men, but they have no manpower. So, that does mean, with just a little bit of, uh, you know, wearing them down, I should eventually be able to come out ahead. Hmm definitely get more military power. Make my troops a little bit better. Uh, they're winning the siege race here. That's that's not ideal. I keep wanting them to actually attack Portugal there. That would just be good for me. Any chance I can, like, slip in when part of them are... Ugh. It's the problem. They'll certainly be able to engage. That's fine. I definitely don't want to attack them in the mountains. I wonder, could I get to Toulouse before them? They all arrive 23rd and 24th of July? No. Well, let's see about making an attack here. Depending on how this plays out, this could be very interesting. Because they're probably going to get to Ergo before this other army can... Yeah. I could really use some reinforcements here. Oh, come on. Yeah, Naples, slip down here and help out. Okay, good. We won in Bairn. Now let's go reinforce. Come on, come on, this would be a great time for a smashing victory. And I think we've got it, guys! Ah, those French leaders. Okay, got me some cotton coming in. Could get another idea. Faster colonists would be nice. How am I doing tech-wise here? I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the idea, and then really start thinking about getting... Yeah, st really start focusing more on tech. Because I definitely want to get um, Admin Tech 10 as soon as I am able to. But, you know, um, for now, getting faster settlers would be great news for me. So I'm going to do that.
Now, hopefully, both these four. Good job, Portugal. We took Narbonne. And I mean, of course, I was able to take Toulouse because. Well, it's not. There's not a fort there. There. Hang out here a bit. Ottomans have rivaled me. Don't like to see that. Oh my, did Provence completely annex Brittany? That appears to be the case. Oh, they're trying to retake their fortress. That's fine. I'll reinforce that battle. Oh, this is really becoming the battle. Don't think they need those last few reinforcements, but it couldn't hurt to send them. Yeah, there we go. Got some goodly war score out of that. Let's merge units where we can. Man, my manpower is taking a hit here. Religious uproar. According to the governor of Kuwaita, the citizens are in uproar because of our missionaries' complete lack of respect for any religious practices or traditions different from their own. He is asking us to consider canceling all further missionary activities in the area, or at least sending some troops until things calm down a bit. Um... So do I want a free infantry unit here, or 40% chance of six heretics? And the free infantry unit comes along with a bunch of unrest. Um, I'll take the infantry unit. I mean, it's not ideal, now there's some unrest there, but... Hey, those missionaries are going along pretty nicely, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing fine. Oh, right. That'll deoccupy itself automatically, so let's move back there. Let's not take stupid attrition. It'd be nice if my allies back me up here, but hey. Oh, Provence has low war enthusiasm. Wonder if I could force them out. How much do they really contribute? Strength wise, not all that much, but. I don't think I have huge war ex uh, score on them, so. Let's see. I'm taking out a few of their units here anyway. There we go. Man, keep losing my advisors here. Oh, I could get me some Diplotech. Let's do that. I don't have very many points at all. Yay! Conversion complete. That's good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna take... one of these guys. Have him get on the boat. And hang out down in Trinidad, because I don't... I'm tired of those native uprisings. 
Even just one guy could hold them off for a while. Oh, France is trying to loop around that way. Go sit in bourbon. Things are going pretty well here. I'd really like you to take out their army. <sighs> Fucking Trinidad. These natives. So right now I've got my conquistador up here. That's a little bit silly. I'm just not doing all that much exploration at the moment anyway. But I would like to change that. I just don't have the men on hand right now. That's okay. I'll continue doing my thing. So, now I really do need to start thinking about terms of peace. As of right now, I definitely want Navarra. At a minimum. And I want... I want to humiliate them. Because I really would love the power projection and war reparations, so I can get money, and money, so I can get money. I mean, granted, that will cause me some inflation, which is not ideal, but it will really screw over France, who's likely to be a major rival of mine. Hell yeah, colonial enthusiasm. That's a really great event. How far am are they from accepting that? I mean, fairly far, but I'm doing okay, so... I mean, I'm going to win this war pretty handily at this rate. Okay, I think right now I'm going to switch to admin focus because I have an admin idea I haven't filled out. And I would really like some uh, admin tech. Oh, tobacco in Trinidad. Oh, France is really making some maneuvers down there. You can feel free to do that. So right now they'll give me everything. In fact, I wonder if I could get even another province. Like Narbonne or something. I mean, they've got grapes here, which, you know, is okay. But that will make it harder. Well, Baron would be really good defensively for me. Great position. Um, but it would take me a bit to core when I'm already gonna have to be coring Navara, which Navara itself won't be too bad. But hmm, there's something to be said for taking Poitou and blocking them from getting involved in colonization. What ideas are they doing? Well, they, haven't, they don't have any of the colonization ideas anyway, so they're gonna be way behind on that. Maybe I can take that in a future war. Uh, well, let's see what else might be interesting to do. That won't cost me all my bird mana. Like, make them release... Okay, they're not going to do that. No way. Any treaties I would really like them to annul? I 
I think... Yeah, there's nothing really that I can get out of them more that I care to keep fighting over. Everything else seems really minor. So I'll go ahead. Oh, I'm about to actually capture this province soon-ish. What are you offering me? Sure. I know that lowers my war score with France a little bit, but... I don't think it matters that much. Yeah, easement as it is, they'll take it. In fact, now, without having Poitou on their side, they'll take more. Anything little I could uh, make them do? Would they give me Baron if I demanded it? And or would they be close? Not close enough, but I really feel like dragging this out. So I'll go ahead and send a demand. And there we go. Go ahead and core Navarra. And bring my armies back home. Good job, guys. Now, my manpower is really going to need to recover because I used it all. But I got a bunch of power projection. I got a bunch of money. In fact, I can repay all my loans, which I will do. I'll lower my army maintenance a little bit. And now things are just looking pretty peachy. And that's another conversion complete. Awesome. Good stuff. So, now. Morocco might try to come for their cores back, but that doesn't worry me too much. So one thing I think I'm going to want to do here is maybe move some of my armies over to the colonies a little bit. Here's this fleet. Where's my transports? Yes. So I'll split you in half and take a portion of the army down. And maybe I'll do some exploration and, what's more, some conquest. Start taking out a few of these natives and incorporating them into my domain. I don't see why not. I mean, colonization is great and are going. Some of these colonies are going pretty well. This one should be done very soon. But I think this is a good, a good place as any to leave the episode for today. I mean... I just beat France, and yeah, I could have hurt them more than I did, but as is... Oh, did Sweden and Hansa annex Denmark? Oh, poor thing. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, yeah, I could have hurt France more, but as it is, they have to pay me a shit ton of money, they have to pay me reparations, they're really hurt militarily. So hopefully bad things will continue to happen to them. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I know I sure enjoyed it. And I hope you'll join me for the next one. Have a good day.